Africa includes a rich history of complex and diverse societies that have been misrepresented by the American media's use of stereotypes and misperceptions about African simplicity, inferiority, and brutality. To many, the entire continent of Africa is dangerous, poor, and overcome with disease. This has been reinforced via Western media for centuries. That is how you create a single story, show up people as one thing, and only one thing over and over again, and that is what they become. Stories matter. Gen Geno. The city was not always a war-torn city. There were peaceful times for 1,600 years. This is an example that Africa was not always a country having wars throughout time. Bantu is complex and the language was built upon that. Industrial products like iron were developed in Timbuktu and Great Zimbabwe, which shows that Africa can develop goods for sale and prosperity. It is not just a war-torn country often portrayed in movies. The people of these great countries and culture are successful. The continent of Africa is made up of diverse and complex countries. They do have things like poverty and corruption in giraffes in Africa, but they also have universities and industries in modern cities like Nairobi. Let's begin to tell a different story of Africa, one with a rich history, complex and diverse societies, and real-world challenges. Together we can break through the stereotypes and the myths to uncover the true Africa. Don't you get it? I love South Africa. I am an African. 15 million more Africans going to school because of the Drop the Debt campaign. That's real and significant. Africa is proud to have a female prime minister. We all know that education, more than anything else, improves our chances of leading better lives. I have seen nearly a million people on antiretroviral drugs. HIV AIDS was a death sentence two years ago. It's no longer a death sentence and these drugs are getting out there on bicycles and motorcycles. It's quite incredible to see. I live and breathe South Africa's potential every day because I have a campus full of all South African girls. Now here is the story. Stereotypes in Africa are real. We will show how that can and will change. Africa has many unfair and untrue stereotypes that creates bad views and beliefs of this great nation. Throughout centuries, Africa has been portrayed as a poor, diseased, and war-torn nation. The Western media has continued to display Africa as a continent full of poverty and lagging behind the rest of the world in terms of development, as well as investment opportunities being more involved in conflicts and civil wars. In terms of infrastructure, the continent is greatly improving its roads, buildings, and in some cases, like telecommunication, it has achieved world-class status. Believe it or not, most African nations have cell phones and mobile technology. Throughout centuries, the continent has had cases of extreme droughts which resulted in mass hunger and consequently to deaths. Many organizations have helped to change that, especially in the last 50 years, to provide better funds, services, and medicine to many nations. There are certain parts of Africa that are war-torn countries. However, the rich variety of culture in the continent should not be used to refer to Africa being seen as a third world country. Rather, it is part of what makes Africa to be who they are. Many countries in Africa are world class, with strong economies, great tourism, and hard working people. The other stereotype associated with the continent are high poverty levels. Every country has people who are starving. Movies, the media, and the internet shows all of the war and poverty of Africa. Africa is a continent with a vast amount of resources and growing education for children which creates an unbalanced society. Just like many other developed countries around the world, there are low class and high class groups of people. Cairo, Egypt is one of the world's top destinations. The war in Congo has been called Africa's first war and is considered the deadliest conflict after World War II. 
Many citizens were killed, while others died of non-direct causes such as illnesses and malnutrition. Around 45,000 people in this country die every month. Another example is Chad. It is a poverty-stricken country with ethnical conflicts and is plagued with political instability. Around 80% of the population is under the poverty line. The worst economy in Africa is Zimbabwe. That country ranks as the poorest country in the world. The currency exchange for $1 is equivalent to around 47 million ZWD. The Western media has been for a long time portraying Africa as a complex and diverse society that is full of chaos. Africa has shown to have poorly developed and immature political systems, though this is true in some instances, it should not be used to represent the image of the whole continent. The continent has achieved a milestone with many democracies, and though there are still some aspects of dictatorship, it occurs in a few countries. Ah, we've arrived in Segi. This is uh, lots of lovely colonial buildings from the French era, and it's on the Niger River and a paved road. African leaders have been in the forefront in the global arena to change these notions associated with Africa. To help with this, many wealthy individuals have stepped up. South Africa has thrived over the past few decades, and in 2007, Oprah donated $100 million to build the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for Girls. Africa has great leaders. These individuals have brought great leadership and stability to their countries. Another negative stereotype of Africa can be that there is no wealth in the country or people who are successful. The individuals may not look like Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg, but they are very successful. Africa is now a hub of business and entrepreneurship with companies and multinational businesses like Coke thriving in these countries. Countries such as South Africa, Nigeria, Kenya, and Egypt are home to many international companies and have been well managed to improve economic outcomes of the nation. Cairo is a great developed country with strong jobs for their people, tourism, and overall growth. While the Western media portrays the African continent and its people as backwards, Egypt represents one of the best known countries that have a well developed middle class. The society is able to spend a lot of money on basic and luxuries living, demonstrating an African continent that has the future in mind. Africa is a great place. World class airlines, water systems, roads, and buildings make it a much more modern place than what the negative stereotypes say. Africa as a continent has a long way to go. There are so many challenges for many countries and their people who live there. It is not fair that the entire region has a poor stereotype making Africa look like it has not improved since the 1800s. With society rapidly changing and information more available to us, the next generation of people in the world will hopefully like Africa for what it really is. A diverse place with great people, incredible culture, and improving countries.